You have some questions about scabies. You want to know what they are, what to look for, because you're worried about your kids possibly being exposed. And what they are are small microscopic mites that you can't see with the naked eye, and they burrow into the skin and lay eggs. And you can actually, in some cases, even see little gray pencil-like tracks in the skin. Most commonly, you see a rash, and this develops about two to four weeks after the infestation. So it's not immediately after. It causes really intense itching, and this is related to the proteins and the eggs and the excretions of the mites. If you think that your children may have it, or yourself, because it's actually spread um, when you come into close skin-to-skin -skin -skin contact with someone who has it, it can also be spread if you're sharing the same bedding or linens, then talk with your doctor and actually have them look at the rash and they'll ask more specific questions about the itching, the intensity. When you feel it most, um, scabies is often itchier at night. And so that, that may be one question they ask. And then in some cases it warrants testing. They obtain a sample and send it off to look at it underneath the microscope. And if they see it, the eggs and the mites and they know it's positive for scabies. If the diagnosis of scabies is indeed given, then the treatment is a cream that's applied over the skin from the neck to the toes and for small children, sometimes on their head and neck as well because the infestation can spread up to the scalp. In addition to using the topical cream, you need to wash all of the linens in your house, blankets, towels, sheets, pillowcases, pillows, even everything really, really well in hot water and then dry it on a hot dryer setting and that will help to kill the mites so that there won't be a reinfestation after treatment. It's also a good idea to talk with the doctor about treating your entire family. Sometimes they want to treat the, the entire family again to prevent reinfestations. If you have more specific questions about it, talk with your doctor and they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.